Oh, God. Tight. All right. Um, I was thinking of something earlier today. And I was like, wow, that's pretty good. So we all want to have a choice, right? Um, obviously, that's respectful. But um, a little something personal about me. Uh, my parents got divorced around eight or nine. And, you know, it's something that um, no child wants to do or wants to go through. It's no thing that the parents, when they got married, wanted to do. They had to make a choice, you know. Um, but... If you can only live with one. And that was a really hard time in life. And I'm very thankful that my mom and my dad are still alive. And they're still friends. But I had to make a choice. And I kind of compare that to what's going on right now in our country is as long as we have to make a choice between Democrat or Republican, what no one really goes over is what, what does that mean? Well. It means that you gotta be for a person or not. Now we're talking about, let's just, let's just use the names that are in the ballots right now. Trump and Biden, right? I'm not, I am not getting into if I like Trump more than Biden. I don't even wanna get into this shit right now because otherwise then none of you will get my message. It'll just turn into hate. And I've already deleted at least 200 people that were never my friends to begin with, okay? And I want America to be a better place. But I don't see that happening because really no one's going about the underlying issues and what causes them in the first place. Like, God damn, sorry. <laughs> um, like, if you had to pass a test, maybe 10 questions in order to vote, and we had voter ID that everybody could look at it. It had to be registered with a real living person. And you have to score 70% or higher to choose that candidate. Like, let's say, I don't know, I hate, I hate this abortion thing and all this other stuff. But let's just say it was simple questions like, um, what are two of Trump's laws that he's passed or what are two that he wants to pass and then it wouldn't be multiple choice something simple i mean so i'm mean, not hard stuff okay but if you can't pass these simple things then why should your vote count just because of what like your choice was taken away because your parents did and you were told to do that. Not even told. You were just kind of like taught to do it, right? Um, I mean, how many kids go... I always use this analogy. It's pretty simple. Like, if you grew up driving a Ford truck, how many of you really went to go buy a Dodge? Now, some of you are going to be like, Oh, I did! I'm special! God, you're an idiot. You're, you're really the reason why I'm making this video. It's okay to do that. But the majority of people will not they don't like to do new things and that's how it's always going to be unfortunately okay so if we really want to see a change and i don't know how it would happen i really don't but the only way we're going to become a majority of one working unit working together is if we get rid of the party system. And I don't know how to do that. I'm not saying I have some plan in my head that how it would work, but the idea is pretty simple. 
because if you have a strong Democrat and you vote for Trump, people automatically assume, oh my God, you're a Republican and, 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 and you believe in, and you're okay with everything he says? No, um, I didn't say that. It's not all or nothing. And I'll go back to like what I said about my family. I don't love my mom or my dad anymore. I can't, I can't say that I love my mom more than my dad or my dad more than my mom. But if a, if a boat was sinking and I was holding on to two arms, you know, each parent with each arm, eventually, sadly, one of my arms would give out or my parents would let the other self go so we would survive. I want you to think about this message and what it means. Because some of you, I, it's kind of a disgrace that somehow I don't know where we cross paths or why I ever let you be a friend on my wall, but I'm glad that some of you can at least have a conversation with me about this. But those of you out there that say we can no longer be friends because I'm simply asking some questions about Trump or defending some of the things, not all, not all, not even close to all, but when it comes to this specific president, there's maybe 1% of the population that can actually have a conversation about it. Well, guess what? I'm going to tell you, I'm interested in knowing, and not sarcastically. I'm, I'm so interested in why you would like somebody else. And not just like a childish, a childish answer. Well, anybody be is better than Trump. Anybody would be better than that guy. Well, I have a news flash for you. You're very uneducated or you're not that smart because not any single person can just like, be, you know, become a president. Like some of you will say, well, well, yeah, that's true because Trump did. Well, guess what? He clearly had to make an impact on some people's lives enough to become president of the United States. So if you respect the country that you supposedly love and live in, then you have to respect the process in which that he got in. And if you want to talk about the popular vote, then he, he might have not got the whole thing. It was close enough. I, I don't want to get into specifics, man. That's what I'm getting at. Like, ask yourself this. Out of all the hate and all the conversations you've seen, has anybody ever just put it into simple terms? Like, because... We have to choose, well, we can always choose, I don't even know what the hell that other option is, liberal or something like that, but the majority of the nation chooses Democrat or Republican. And really, we do exactly what they do. Have you ever watched the ads? All they do is spend millions of dollars of donated money that apparently we don't have, but they spend millions of dollars on commercials and ads just talking shit like to the other president. Now, this is supposed to be the highest ranking officer that is running our country and the rest of the world. And we're teaching more than half or close to half of our country that it's okay to just talk shit about the other people. Somebody's got to be lying. And we can go back and forth, but... You or me are really never going to know the true answer because the media will show us what they want. And all I see is some of you posting articles that if you actually read the whole thing, it doesn't even have a fucking date on it. And then you look up the, um, the author and they've never wrote another article. But yet somehow it's posted from CNN. So I don't know what else to tell you besides I'm sick and tired of living in this, this world. Um, I mean, I found out that yesterday 
whatever this antibody number is, anything over nine, you have a pretty good chance of having cancer. And my number was 149. Um, I mean, it's not a little higher. It's not, you know, it's not close. It's not a question. Um, and I guess I don't know. I'm sitting here and I want to think positive about the world and I do my best but I love having conversations like right now I'm just enjoying the breeze and the world when I'm sorry uh, you know while I can and I'm going to do my best to continue fighting. But it gets difficult. Because when you want to voice your opinion, it's such a bad thing. So what you got to do is dumb yourself down or numb yourself to please other people and I've done that long enough but I'll never do it again I won't spend one more day of my life talking to anybody or letting anybody's opinion make me feel bad, you know, um, I love all people, I love all kinds of people, so, I don't remember everything I said in this message, but if you watched the whole thing, We have to start looking at why we're divided. And we're not all gonna get what we want. But if we're a part of a group and somebody has to be president, right? And if that president isn't for your group and he doesn't pass a bill, I'm sorry. Let me say my heart's with you. That doesn't mean I fully feel what you feel. I'm not saying I compare my life to yours. I'm not saying I have it harder. I'm not saying any of that stuff. But the world really, truly, fully is fucking full of hate right now. And what's even worse is like when you actually speak the truth. And when you ask simple questions, people call you crazy. Why? Because I want to know how you feel. I want to know why you feel that way. You know, vampires or witches and all, all anything special, if it does exist, which I, in my heart, I do. I believe that. And I want to believe that. I think it's cool and fun. Why would they ever share anything special with the human race? There probably were gods here. And the second humans got what they wanted, they band together and probably stopped worshiping the gods the moment they got what they wanted. So if you think God exists and the only way that you can come up with is either, well, he's punishing us, or if you still think he's coming.
I, I praise you. I envy you for thinking like that because my life would be much easier if I could just say, well, it was in God's plan. But God's not going to come to your door and just save your life for you. But anyway, I'm not trying to... I don't want to go down that route. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. Spend it with people you love. People you care about. Because some of us don't get to feel like we're going to be here tomorrow. Sometimes weeks go by. Anyway. I just asked the universe to spread this message and maybe some more kindness in the world. Because what I see happening at the, get, the grocery store and all this other stuff, we are being separated. It, it just, it, I, I, I mean, being told which way to walk down the aisle, being told where to walk, how to talk, where to breathe, when to go, how to do it by people we don't even know for a reason we don't even really know. I mean, so many variables. But may peace find you somehow. And if you really want to delete anybody out of your life because their opinion is different than yours, or they feel that President Trump is their choice, then I don't even pray, but I'll pray for you. I ask the universe for it to give you the strength and the open mind to respect one another and yeah, you're right, maybe Trump doesn't respect what a lot of people say, but you know, if I was him at this point, I wouldn't give two shits less what anybody who didn't like me think or thought, because even just in my life, fuck, you can barely please anybody. The second, the second you say something that's wrong, 99.9% .9 of the things that you said right, all go down the window. Oh my God. I didn't know you felt that way. Oh, if we did, we were, really? From one thing, from one comment? Who the fuck are you? What are you doing so special in your life right now that you can actually judge another human being and tell them that you're not a good person because you chose this president? Man. Cool. Well, good for you. I hope that type of I hope I hope you teach your children that. And you can and you can like send some quotes, you can send some uh little clips of things he didn't say. Well, you know what? Let me I, I got a little message for you. I'm fucking glad that he doesn't sit up there and act like a motherfucking zombie and say all the things that he knows will please you guys. Because that's what everybody else does that's in politics. I mean, if you know politicians, a.k.a. I do, and I find it hysterical because I know them personally, but you know what? They're nothing like. They don't even believe in the shit they're talking about. But it's because their job and their family, and guess what? It pays well. But some of you never think of that. You only think of your own narcissistic way of thinking. And thank you for the friends I still have and the people that are still in my life that I can talk to about simple little things. God bless Buddha, not Allah, everybody. You have to believe in something. And guess what? I respect all religions, all races, all colors. I don't care if you're black, white, red, yellow. You want to fuck each other. It doesn't matter what you do in the bat bedroom and what you do. In, it's none of my fucking business. But what is my business is I want my nephews and I want my nieces and I want the younger generation that I care a lot about 
that no one's talking about. I want them to have a future. I really do. And the way things are going right now, our children won't have a future. And you know, I've wanted to have kids. I, I have. But 100%, I would never ever bring a kid into this world. Right now, no. I feel bad for the kids who have to grow up in this. They're gonna sit back and say, why didn't, why didn't you guys all band together and split solar energy and say, fuck the government and why didn't we just have electric cars right now? Why did you have to ruin my chance? Mom, dad, Uncle Jesse, why didn't you do something about it? So, you know, if I live another 10 years and another 10 minutes, I'll take the hits and I'll take the bad comments and I'll take it all just so that other people can live a better life. But when I spread a message that is very actually kind and I'm asking other people to do it, And you don't, well, whatever. I gotta go, because I don't I haven't been feeling well and I'm spending my last whatever sometimes it's what it feels like on nonsense. And all I really would like to do is spend it with some quality people who just love each other and can laugh at the fact of how different we are on how much we like each other, but we have nothing in common. That's the type of people that I want to be around. So um, I would take my medication and um, take care of everybody. Bye.